I'm Dave Morelli and welcome to another edition of Dave's Tech Tips presented by Tactical Gear Magazine. Today we're going to work on making precise elevation corrections for longer range shooting. We'll be using a 308 caliber rifle and this is a Remington 700 and it's been fitted with a Sheelan Chrome Molly Precision Barrel. The scope is a Night Force 3.5 by 15 by 50 uh, which is an excellent choice for a precision rifle. While we're looking at the scope, notice the exposed turrets, and it's important to be familiar with how the knobs are calibrated. This one is calibrated in one quarter minute clicks. That means at 100 yards, one click will move the bullet impact on the target one quarter of an inch. Uh, four clicks, which is designated in between the numbers on here, is one minute of angle at 100 yards, which is one inch of correction. Some of the equipment uh, we use for these calculations, first off, I use a standard PDA like this one from Dell. This is a precise dope advisor. Uh, it also has a night force ballistic program loaded into it, so we can use it in the field to calculate uh, trajectories. A uh, SkyTech weather station or some sort of weather station this one will give you wind speed, temperature, pressure, altitude, and humidity. You need to know the ranges you're shooting at, so you'll have to use a range finder like this one from Leopold. This one also uh, will tell you the angle that you're pointing up or down, so you can calculate that. And as we said, velocity is a key factor of the trajectory, so a precise average velocity is needed, and I use an RCBS chronograph such as this one here to, uh, to give me that number to feed into the PDA. Here's our group at 100 yards as you can see you got three shots here and they're all touching. Uh, it's about a half a minute to the left. You want to make that thing, you want to put it right in the center here because when we get out at a thousand yards that'll be five inches to the left. That's where we get this, a half a minute is two clicks and we want a, the bullet to go to the right so we one two and we'll go back and shoot again and when it's right in the center here then we'll be able to take her out to a thousand yards or 700 yards well here we are we got we yesterday we took this rifle out at 100 yards we sighted it in zeroed it you saw our results now we're going to use the night force program in this Dell PDA and we're going to take readings of all the different environmental conditions that we're experiencing here. We're not in the same place. We're actually 300 feet higher in elevation and we're at where we have our long range target set up. We're going to take the information, we're going to put it into the PDA and calculate our correction here to make a first round hit and today we're going to shoot at 725 yards. So the first thing we're going to do is get some information off of our weather station. Okay, I have my Flytech weather station here, and we're going to get to that in just a second. The first thing I'm going to do in this Night Force program is record our bullet data. Yesterday with the uh, chronograph, we recorded 2,900 feet per second with a 175 grain bullet, and we were sighting in at 100 yards. So I'm going to put those pieces of information in to the program here. Uh, it also has the sight height above the bore, which on this rifle from center to center is an inch and a half. And the ballistic coefficient, which you can look up in this program, or you can look up in a ballistic table, and on this round is .405. So we're updating that information. The field conditions. Here's where the weather comes in. We're at 6,300 feet. We sighted in at 6,000 feet. So we're gonna make that correction on this PDA so that it will correct for it in our ballistic table. And we're gonna go ahead and change the weather, the temperature to 70.3. The uh, next thing that I want to uh, check is this one here will give me the barometric pressure. And it shows 27.29. I'm going to fix that, and the relative humidity today is 27%. We update that, 
we're going to go to target engagement. We have a 725 yard target, which we confirmed with our loophole range finder. I'm not going to put, I could put wind speed in here if I wanted to make a correction, but I have no wind speed, I have no direction, and I have no target speed. It's a stationary par target. Uh, the last thing that I'm going to correct here is we have a three degree angle of incline. So I'm going to put that in and update it. Okay, all our information is in here. We're going to hit our drop table and at 725 yards I show 18.25 minutes of elevation correction which we would do with this knob here on our, our night force scope. The night force scope one revolution is 10 minutes so we're going to make one revolution to the up direction and then we're going to go 8.75 more numbers or minutes of angle in the up direction and that'll give us 18.25 minutes of elevation correction. So 1875, so or 1825. So one full turn is 10 minutes of angle. And we're gonna go 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. One click more is 0.25. And we're gonna go two clicks over and then back to 18.25. The reason why we do that is so the threads, the little tiny threads in there are always meshed at the same time for just a little more precision. Okay, let's give this thing a show. 725 yards, we've got all our dope corrections. We're gonna try for a first round hit. There you have it folks, first round hit, 725 yards. Let's try it at a thousand yards. There you have it. By properly setting up your rifle, sighting it in precisely at 100 yards, and then taking the conditions and applying them to a ballistic program such as the Night Force program that we have in this PDA, you can see that whatever yardage you're shooting at, it will give you the proper correction. And by using the proper correction a minute at an angle off of your program onto the scope, you can make a one shot hit or first shot hit at a thousand yards, 700 yards, whatever range you pick. Well that's it for this edition of Dave's Tack Tips. Keep your computer tuned to tacticalgearmag.com for more of Dave's Tack Tips and more information on precision shooting, tactical shooting, and competition shooting. See you next time.